What is going on, Oregon Duck Faithful? Hey, if you have not yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below this video to get all the latest duck news, reviews, and previews for everything going on with men's basketball and football. Uh, men's basketball team released the 2017-2018 schedule today, um, and it's going to set up really nicely for a duck team that went to the Final Four. They only returned like three key players from last year's team. Even uh, Keith Smith is back. He was a bench player. Roman Sorkin was back. He was a bench player. Uh, Peyton Pritchard might be the leader of this uh, young team that brought back, um, you know, nobody really besides those three guys. And now they're going to bring in some pretty decent recruits. They got some five-star and four-star recruits. And I'll uh, kind of talk a little bit more about that in my preview that will be released in October covering the men's basketball season. Um, but that schedule did come out today and it sets up really good for this young team to develop some chemistry, to uh, figure out who fits where. Uh, there might be some losses. There might be some bad losses, but there's going to be some good times with this team. I, I, I think that this is going to be an exciting time for Oregon basketball to figure out, okay, they made the Final Four. Now, where do they go from here? But the season opens up, as usual, with uh, Northwest Christian. They usually play them. It's an exhibition. Usually Oregon dominates that game, as they probably should. Uh, but then uh, they play a game uh, a couple weeks later against Copen State, and then Prairie View A&M and Alabama State and Ball State. Uh, then the PK-80 happens. Now that, of course, is going to be tough on this young team. Uh, going in there playing some tough teams. They play Connecticut. Um, then they could potentially be playing Michigan State after that. And so Oregon's going to have some tough games there at the PK-80. Uh, that'll be a great learning experience for them. Then they return home a few weeks later playing Boise State, Colorado State, Texas Southern, Portland State before finally hitting the road. They don't even leave the state of Oregon. Oregon until December 16th at Fresno State. Um, so that'll be the young team's first true road test. Then they come back to play Central Arkansas before opening up Pac-12 play against Utah. And the Pac-12 play sets up nicely for Oregon. They got Washington at home. They got the Beavers at home, like always. Uh, they got Arizona at home. They've got UCLA at home. So if you can make it down to Matthew United Arena this season, they got some great home games uh, scheduled. And of course, a lot of tough road games. They do go to Arizona. They go to UCLA. Um, but uh, I think it is this year they skip um, the uh, mountain schools. Uh, so they don't have to go out to Colorado where they lost a season ago. Uh, even with that great Final Four team, they couldn't pull out the win in Colorado. Um, so they avoid that. They do have to go to the Bay Area, but the Bay Area schools don't come to Eugene. Um, but this is going to be an exciting season. Like I said, young team, I'm excited mostly about the non-conference play that it will allow this young team to get themselves set up before conference play. They only leave the state of Oregon one time until January. Um, so that's going to play majorly in their favor, I think, with such a young team that needs to get some things figured out before uh, having that conference play come up where they're going to try for three in a row as, as conference champions. It's going to be tough. Arizona's really tough. Um, this year, there's a lot of great Pac-12 teams this year. And so we're going to have to see how they, they fare. I'm excited just because... We, just getting to see how all the pieces fit together. Um, I don't expect this team to make a final four run this year, but who knows? We'll see. Um, you know, some people didn't even say that last year, but you never know. Um, but I wouldn't expect it, but I do expect a lot of growing pains. I expect a lot of ups and downs this season, but I think this will be a good team come conference play um, due to that favorable schedule that they have. So tell me down below, I'm going to put the link in the uh, description uh, of the entire men's basketball schedule and tell me after looking it over, who do you think you are most looking forward to this season as an opponent? Um, what game are you most looking forward to this year? Tell me down in the comments section below, hit like, be sure to subscribe. Remember never black and orange, never Husky purple and pray for Oregon to win a national championship.